Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Felsbrunn. Um, right now I'm in the middle of loading up the trailer finally um, with some of the pallets that I purchased. Uh, so I'm just going to get back to doing that. Probably uh, going to take me yeah, a little bit to get everything sorted. Uh, I also uh, just found a pretty cool mod um, <laughs> that I <laughs> I'm uh, pretty excited about. I, I've parked it in the barn, but I'll be showing that uh, in a minute here. Once I get this trailer loaded up. And it's been a long time since I have used a telehandler. For some reason, the... For some reason, the um, thing I was using before, I guess, whatever it's called, um, articulating telehandler would, I don't know what it's, it's like the green thing. <laughs> uh, it wasn't really working. Um, I don't know why I can't find the fork set up for it, but that was a little annoying, so I decided to go with this. Um, so I'm just trying to get reacquainted with driving something that's got an offset boom instead of a center boom. Or, uh, I mean cab-wise. I'm not sitting behind a boom on this, so... Anyway, just filling up with seed. Um, and then I've got a tank of liquid fertilizer I'm just going to store in the barn for now. This thing handles really nice. It's like, it does really nice turns. So I'm going to try the... Oops extension function here. There it is. Pretty cool feature. Oops. Everything's in the way like always. <laughs> I'm always trapping myself in tight spots. Yeah, this is just going to be kind of a casual video. I was, uh, wasn't even going to start a recording, but I figured what the hell, um, since I am pretty excited about that mod that I mentioned, I'm going to show that in a minute. Once I get these loaded and strapped. This fertilizer is insanely expensive by the way. I think it's 3700 or uh, euros or pretty uh, per tank. And of course I've got the 4940 there, John Deere. Um, that's for solid fertilizer though, so that'll be going out to the fields relatively soon once I get planting done. I just managed to get the... There we go. I don't know if I mentioned in the last video, but I managed how to... Or I finally coded the beacon, so... That's finally working. <laughs> I've never... I've always included beacons on the equipment and stuff if it's an option, and I've never bothered to turn it on.
All right, guys, I'm going to unload the tanks and everything, but I'm just going to walk in here real quick and show you what is so exciting. It's the agricultural drone, <laughs> which is uh, is a pretty interesting mod. Um, I, uh, yeah, I'll just show you. I'm, I'll, it takes liquid fertilizer, which it's got that little tank there. Um, and I have pretty small fields here. Uh, it doesn't seem to have a limited range or anything, so I don't know how realistic it's going to be, but uh, I'm just going to play around with it and, uh, yeah, see what it does. So I'll probably just uh, fly it over a small area and, and uh, just see what happens. He <laughs> says, I'm going to sit in your way until you feed me. That's fine. Always feeding him. There he is. You got to keep an eye on him. He likes to get near the equipment. I'm going to move the uh, liquid tank into the barn, uh, get it out of the sun, of course, and also next to the drone so we can see what happens. First time using uh, a drone, obviously, besides so flying it to the barn, so... I know I'm cheating a little bit with this view, but... And the, yeah, like, <laughs> just can't see. Even in the real world, when I've operated skid loaders, it's been a challenge to exactly line up the forks. When your vision's blocked. Ooh, shit. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Looks like, uh. Oh no. <laughs> Alright. Wow, apparently this thing is. <laughs> apparently this thing's very heavy. That is weird. Oh, alright. I am surprised. I. Thought I had moved one of these with a skid loader before. Alright, uh, never mind then. That. And I'll have to bring, uh, I'll have to bring the telehandler down, but not build the drone. I can fly the drone. That's interesting. Huh. I was sure that I had picked up one of these with a skid loader before, but no big deal. And yes, I realized I should have just pulled the truck into the barn, but oh well. It's quite loud. Yeah, <laughs> as you can see, it's quite loud, and it does have this neat little, uh, I, don't, I don't know what's, something just changed on it. Nope, why is it suddenly locking the camera downwards? That's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, 
but yeah, it's got the first person view, which was working a minute ago. But I'm going to refill it and see what happens. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, it's fixed. Yeah. So it must have gotten confused when I was going to reload it. But I think it's got... It actually uh, conflicts with stuff on the ground. Yeah. So it's, it actually has... It actually has a footprint on the ground, which is how the mod works, so you can't fly over objects. Uh, you end up bumping it, so it's not perfect, um, but if you're going to be using it for its intended purpose, then you're just flying over flat fields anyway. And now for the interesting part, okay, there's our, our little map is loaded. This is getting exciting. Our precision farming map is showing us where to spread fertilizer. And I'm going to try and get it in a... I'm having a little bit of resistance here. Getting it turned, but... I'm going to activate the automatic rate. Okay, now I've got out here. Oh, look, it's got cruise control, too. <laughs> and I don't think it comes with GPS, because that would be pretty sweet. If we could follow GPS lines. Okay, I'm going to unfold it now. And we're going to go a little bit lower now. There we go. <laughs> Set on cruise control. Things are gonna be pretty cool. It seems that the fuel bar is going down. I might, well, the fertilizer bar, obviously, but also the fuel bar. That's interesting. Um, so I'm actually going to. I need to request an actual. Uh, full field examination here, yeah. Just because I'm blank spots uh, are quite large. But so I'm watching the fuel bar go down. I have no idea if this thing runs on fuel or what. <laughs> I guess there's a way to recharge it, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, pretty quirky mod. I think there's a limit to the height you can go to. Oh, maybe not. Oh, okay. So that's the that's the highest we can go here. It's having some trouble turning, I don't know why. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Trying out a straight line now, I'm waiting for the solar data to load. Since I spontaneously ordered that to be done. There we go, now we've got a full field uh, of data. It's just not showing on the map. Okay, so to refresh it. So I'm gonna try and do this correctly. Start from one end, fly to the other. go. Pretty cool onboard view. It looks like 
Okay. I'm watching the cruise control. It's knocking the speed up some. pretty neat. It beats driving a heavy spur that's going to uh, kill crops or leave a trail. And that thing's pretty neat. <laughs> that's funny. And plus I can land it on the trailer too, can I? That would be the ultimate setup right there. Land it on the trailer, have it... Uh, oh yeah, so yeah, there's the footprint. You can see it's making the truck uh, go down. Oh, you can fly through the truck. Oh. Uh, maybe... <laughs> maybe that won't work, actually. Full tank this time. seems to be struggling a little bit to uh, fly along here. <laughs> don't know. Yep, <laughs> I don't know why it's stuck. causing it to not behave like it should.
does a pretty good job though. Let's see if it shuts off. We didn't get we didn't get much fertilized. Again, it's a small tank, so I'm gonna fly I'm gonna fly back to the main tank and figure out how much that actually used because I wasn't watching uh, how much was coming out of the big tank. Pretty cool overall. Uh, let's see. Oh, how do I figure out how much is left in this tank? Oh, a uh, 32% maybe. Tells me somewhere, doesn't it? I don't know be pretty amazing if we used uh, that much already. I have no idea. This is saying 32% left. I'm assuming that's what that's telling me. So, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Trying out different things here. And, uh, yeah. Although we didn't get that much. I guess <laughs> it wasn't that much covered, of course. Yeah, so barely got anything. Maybe like a quarter of the field or a third, but just uh, trying different things. So that's all. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.